For Father's Day, let's go fishing. I'm gonna show you how to paint a fishing gnome with a mop brush in yellow and white. I'm gonna do back and forth strokes for my sky. Maybe it's like an early morning fishing day. And then the rest of the way down, I'm going to do back and forth strokes with three different shades of blue. Bright blue, a green blue, and dark teal. And I have a little bit more water than sky. And then I'm gonna dry it really good because we're gonna take a fine artist sponge and we are going to add some trees. Taking some bright green first, I'm bouncing in some texture. Not so thick that I lose all of my yellow, but I'm doing kind of the middle area of the sky. And then we're gonna get darker as we move out with some Christmas green, that's just a medium green. And then on the outside edges, I'm taking some dark green, which really when I say that, I just added a little bit of black in with that medium green. So you get this really cool gradient. Look, that looks like a canopy of trees perfect to go fishing in. Now we have to have some tree trunks so take a palette knife with some dark brown and I'm going to scratch up into the leaves before they dry. See a little bit of the yellow will show through when you do that but if you scratch in you'll get the illusion of trees poking out. You can even do it at different angles for tree branches and if you don't have a palette knife don't worry just go grab a plastic credit card or some kind of plastic card and this will work the exact same way. Make sure all the trunks are coming down to where the water starts. And then I'm gonna take a size eight round brush and give a little bit of ground, a little bit of a horizon line to plant the trees in. I'm gonna go all the way across. See how some of my texture went down into the water? You could leave that and it would look like a reflection, but I am just taking some blue with a little bit of black and darkening underneath that to smooth it out. And before we move on, don't forget to add some ripples into the water. I'm taking some white and a couple of the different blues and blending in some highlights in there that make it look like ripples. The fish are moving. Now with some tan and dark brown, I'm taking my round brush again, doing a line coming out from the back, another line in the front slanting to the right, and then a shorter line at the bottom gives you a little bit of perspective. And then just back and forth strokes that are horizontal to the horizon. And that makes it look like wood. Just make sure you're using tan and brown together. And to give the illusion that it's three dimensional, we are going to take some dark brown and even a little bit of black to make it darker. See that the corner goes straight down and then over like a rectangle. The back corner goes straight down, but then make sure the line connecting the front is on the same angle as that top line. There we go. Now with a size three round brush, we're gonna start a Papa Gnome. He's out fishing for Father's Day. I'm going to do a curved line like this going off the edge of the dock. See how that curve on the right side is on the dock? That's because he's sitting on it. And on the top of that line, I'm going to do a line going up to the left and then bring that line down and see how I have two backwards C's. That's where his legs are going to end. And then I'm gonna fill that shape in. Let's curve his bum a little bit so he doesn't fall off. <laughs> and fill that shape in completely. I'm gonna do some highlights here just so you can start seeing the shape of his legs. Let's do a line in the middle where the legs are separated in the center. And then taking a detail brush as the size zero, I'm going to do a loose number six. See that six? But instead of making that circle connect at the bottom, I'm going to swoop it around like an S from that point and you get a little elf shoe. See that? I'm gonna fill that in with black. And then this front shoe is gonna be a little bit bigger because it's closer to us. It's a loose six again. And then from that top point, just curve that down and fill it in. Almost looks like a teardrop. Fill that in with black. And just so we can see the definition, I'm gonna add some white highlights like that. There are some floating legs, awesome. All right, his shirt, let's see. My dad would wear probably a dark blue, so I'm taking a size six round. Really any different size round brush would work, but I'm gonna do a kind of square like this and fill it in with some dark blue. Maybe make the right hand side at the bottom go down a little bit so it covers behind him. Perfect, then let that dry. We're gonna take some tan and white and add his nose. See, so yeah, that's just an oval at the top left corner. And now that we have his nose, we can start his beard. Taking my smaller round brush, my size three, I'm taking some white paint and just doing some wavy lines coming down from the bottom of his nose. I'm gonna make his beard pretty long. It's gonna go down into his lap, almost to a point. And see how his shirt was a little wider on the right-hand side? I'm gonna make it look like he's turned a little bit, so bring some white down all the way across. But I'm leaving a little bit of his shirt peeking out at the bottom. 
And don't forget a little bit of gray hairs. He's an old man. Um, adds some definition in his beard there. Fix up his nose a little bit. I'm taking a little bit of that dark brown with the tan to add some shading. And then we can do his hat. Taking my size six round brush, I want his hat to be kind of a bright color, so I'm taking white first to shape his hat. Doing a wavy line going across his head at an angle, and then bringing a line up and over, connect that on the one side, and then fill it in completely. I'm gonna do orange. I let the white dry. I'm filling that in. That is really bright orange. I kind of like it, but I'm going to mix a little bit of nutmeg brown, like a medium brown. Let's make that look a little bit more earthy toned. There we go. With the detail brush, you can design it however you want. I'm just gonna do a brown strap going across here like that. Super simple. What are those bobby things called when you go fishing? Is it a lure? The thing that floats. Let's do one of those on the end of his hat. <laughs> I think that's what it looks like. You'll have to tell me what that is. And then let's let him dry completely. I think the background needs a little bit of work. So I'm taking my detail brush with all those different greens we used for the trees and adding some grass texture. I'm bringing it up, um, highlighting and shading, and then adding a little bit more dark brown to fix up the rough edges in the back. There we go. I don't want the background to be too distracting, but I don't want it to look like it was just half done. There, or it's starting to look like something. Let's give him some hands. We don't have to do arms because his beard is so big. Just do two tan little ovals in the middle of his beard. And then I'm taking some black and adding a fishing pole. So there's the handle. Carefully bring the fishing pole up. I'm gonna make that a little bit thicker. There we go. And just a little bit of white to add the string. Let's see if he catches something today. Love it. All right, and this fishing dock needs a little bit of work. I'm going to do some poles, taking some dark brown. I'm making a tall rectangle in the front here. Add a little bit of tan for shading, a little oval at the top. Don't forget some water to blend in that bottom edge. And then you can design it however you want. I am going to take some tan on my detail brush and add a rope going off. Some white highlights on that too. Let's do a little pull in the back here since we're looking at it at an angle. Shorter little pull with a little oval at the top and a rope coming off of that as well. And now that the gnome is dry, just to help him stand out a little bit more, I carefully line my figures with black sometimes. Doesn't have to be a full outline, but just anywhere where he's more defined. Helps him stand out from the background. Highlights to the fishing pole. Look, he caught something. That's kind of a sad catch though. It looks like a goldfish. Let's give him a better catch for Father's Day. <laughs> Do a bigger oval there, two little fins. Make it look like he just came out of the water. I'm gonna add some little ripples there. Let's add some gray. That'll look less like a goldfish. Tint it with some orange and then add as much detail as you want. Highlights, outline, maybe some gills, an eye maybe. There you go. That's a better catch for Father's Day. <laughs> and just little things, little more details. I'm gonna also outline my dock with some black. You don't have to do that, but I think it makes it stand out a little bit more um, from the background. And as a final touch, I'm going to frame him. I'm doing some darker blue in the bottom of the picture. Let's add a little bit more detail to these ropes. I'm just doing little black outlines and some little curved backward C's in the rope to look like one of those twisted ropes. Not too much detail, but a little bit more. And to frame the top of your picture, I'm going to go back in with my fine sea sponge and some of that dark green and make it just a little bit thicker. See how the dark at the top and the bottom frames your eye towards the center of the picture? That's awesome. I'm even gonna take some darker blue on my horizon and make it a little bit darker as well. And then you can add back in any details you went over. There we go. And there is a Papa Gnome out fishing. I might add a little baby gnome on the dock later, but I think this is a good place to stop. Wish your dad a happy Father's Day for me. If you're a dad, happy Father's Day. And if you like this tutorial, follow me for more here on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube.